Hello everyone, my name is Jason Humphrey and welcome to the next video in the Thinkful playlist. I'm here to answer some questions for you. That's what this playlist is all about. First one we're going to answer here is what books do I recommend? And there's a lot. I'm going to put a link here into my website down below on recommendations. Let's start with the first and foremost best book I recommend. You should see it up over here. It is the You Don't Know JS series. It is by far the best one to recommend for a couple of reasons. First off, Kyle Simpson, the author, is absolutely fantastic in his book at explaining the concepts and giving really good broken down logic at the same time. It is an open source book, so it is totally free to go read on your own in GitHub. I'll put a link over here too. And at the same time, you can still go buy them off Amazon and get them same day and have the hardbound books in your hands. Uh, the books are phenomenal there. It's a series from the start to the finish of JavaScript core fundamentals. Uh, tons of great stuff in there. And I recommend them all the time because you're going to read the scope and closure book in a matter of five to ten minutes. You can start understanding how those things work in JavaScript, which really a lot of people don't uh, and it's something that's core to it and so that's that's just the start there's a ton more it goes all the way into es6 this prototypes lots of stuff there that's a phenomenal one to start with i highly recommend it next one i recommend here is learning javascript design patterns uh, it's actually called javascript design patterns it's a fantastic book um, it's also free if you want to go read it you don't need to pay for it it's another great one I say this in the design patterns one because there's lots of ways to code. You have to find your way. And I tell this to my students all the time. We got to find what works for you because I'm not the one writing production for you when you get in your job. You're only the only one writing. So we need to find which patterns work for you because when you go into some company, wherever it is you work, they're going to expect you to do their way unless you have a set standard and you have reasons to back it up. At the same time, it's really great for you to have a broad range of knowledge in design patterns so that you're not dependent on only one thing. You can do a broad range of things that really get and will help you show off your skills. So that's another great book. Uh, the other book I'm going to recommend and the last one for this video, if you guys like this, I can do more. Just let me know, uh, is Soft Skills to the Software. Well, let me make sure I get the title correct. Soft Skills, a Software Developer's Life Manual by John Sonmez. Highly recommend this book. It touches all basis of everything you need to know to be a developer. Um, from the job to getting stuff done to life, it covers an absolute ton. It's a really unique guide, but super professional. I, I highly recommend it. I recommend it to all my students. And those are the three books they're all phenomenal. I highly recommend them all, all the time. I think that's the third or fourth time I've said that. But you get my point. These are three books that can really help you in your career. And at the same time, I know you haven't gotten to the career yet, but you've started it. You're on the path. And these tools right here can help you. So that's it for this video. Check out the next one. And I will see you guys next time.